abstinence or zuhud and attaining ghina, true wealth, true power, true strength, and true connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through detachment from this world, abstinence as is sometimes translated. And for this, I want to um, talk about a particular hadith of the Prophet as narrated by Imam al Nawawi, rahimahullah ta'ala, in his Arba'un hadith, the 40 hadith of Imam Nawawi. Uh, and it's narrated by <clears throat> Ibn Majah with good chains of transmission and others as well. And it is the hadith of Zuhd, where a Sahabi, a man came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And he said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Dullani ala amalin, guide me to an action. Show me something that I can do. Habbani yallahu wa habbani nas. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love me and the people will love me. I want to attain the love of Allah. What a great pursuit that is. You know, to be beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How can I become beloved to Allah? It's a beautiful question. And this Sahabi asked this question. It says, A man came. Um, so we don't know the name of this particular companion. The commentaries may well uh, indicate to whom it was. But what a beautiful question. How do I become beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What was the reply of the Prophet sallallahu It's before you. Or translation of it is before you. Izhad fi dunya Allah. Or you Allah, detach yourself from the dunya, from the world, and Allah will love you. Was had fima in the nas, you nas, and detach yourself from what people have, what they possess, and they will love you. Subhanallah. The way to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the way to attain the love rather of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to, t- to detach ourselves from this world. You see, all this world given to us, detach yourselves from it. Now, this detachment is not a literal detachment of, you know, living without anything in life. I can't have a house, I can't have a well, you know, bank balance, I can't have a car, I can't have anything. I've got to stay away from this dunya because it's all, uh, shouldn't, we should detach ourselves. It doesn't talk, it's not talking about physical detachment here. We're talking about a spiritual detachment. As has been said, have as much of the dunya you want in your hand or in your pocket, you know, you've got it, it's with you, but have nothing in your heart. Uh, one explanation given is that you do, it doesn't affect, doesn't make you sad or happy whether you get dunya or you lose the dunya, whether you make money or you lose money. That doesn't affect your heart, doesn't make you sad or happy. People praise you, you become happy. People uh, rebuke you and criticize you, you become sad. You're attached to the dunya, you're attached to the praise of people. You're not, you're, you're, you have to detach from these things. Is had fit dunya, get away from these worldly uh, uh, attachments, you know whims and desires, and you will attain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what this really, this hadith is telling us, and it's part of many hadith, and many, uh, much of the Quran, and the prophetic discourse, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is purify your heart. You know, get away from this dunya, realize the true value of things, right? As we've just discussed the idea of our neediness to Allah, so realize the true need, your true state of being, a human being, and then look at this world and think, what am I here for? Am I really here to build palaces? And, you know, beautiful buildings and, and so forth. This beauty of this world is a sign of Allah. Use it in the right way. This is what it's there for, is to tell me how amazing my creator is. His attributes are, you know, so and so. Look what he tells us about in the Quran. Look at how this is, right? The signs for us to take us back to Allah, not to distract us from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the whole process that we need to work hard at and purifying ourselves. Um, one of the uh, scholars, Fudail ibn Iyad, he said, where does this zuhd come from? He said, Asl zuhd, the root and source of zuhd, if you want detached from this world, is rida anillahi ta'ala, is to have contentment, be satisfied with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you or has given you. So we need to um, build an attachment to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through contentment, right? Through al qanaatu kanzun la yafna, as Sayyidina Ali said, you know, contentment, being as Qana'i, he is to be happy with what you've been apportioned, what you've got, you're happy with. This is a treasure that never ends, a never-ending treasure. And so this is something we need to be really, really aware of.